All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number 21, and we're Diamond 1, Division 3. Uh, as you can see by the picture in the bottom left, uh, quite an interesting name here. We got Dairy Peak, and it's a bottle with uh, Fairy Peak's face on it. <laughs> I think I've lost my mind, man, with all these comments. Thanks for another suggestion, a beautiful suggestion. Over, over 2,000 likes for this one, so hope you guys like it. Let's just jump right, right into the first game. Also, one quick thing before we jump into the episode, these videos take a lot of effort to bring out daily for you guys, so if you do enjoy the daily content and you like my custom maps and stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a ton and it's free. Let's get into the episode. And uh, on the opponent's team, we've got Sponge... Oh. <laughs> well, we've got some players on the other team. Uh, now that we're jumping into Upper Diamond, you know, we're starting to move up Diamond a little bit. We're going to start to see a lot more uh, consistent gameplay. As you can see, like, they're holding onto the ball and, and dribbling. So we got to be a little bit more careful with our challenges and make sure we back up our teammates. Good start. Sneak it in there. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Tragic. It's okay. Good, good positioning to be able to stay with this. If he doesn't flip there, he actually has a little bit of a better chance with the ball. There, I fake the ball real quick. And that way I can get possession and stay with it. Should be able to pop this towards net. See if they can save it. Nice play there. Um, so what happened there was I tried to bump or go uh, go to the ball and I got bumped off the ball and then my teammate kind of cleared the ball. Um, but there I'm just popping the ball real quick towards the net. And uh, that guy's name couldn't make it back. Like I said, we can kind of trust our teammates a little more. Right here I see the opponent up first. So all I want to do is just back off. And right here my teammate can get mid boost. That challenge is kind of late from uh, the opponent, so I end up getting a good 50-50. It's good. It's fine. So right here, I see that I'm on the ball first. I'm going to pop it off the wall. Not the greatest touch because it does go to the opponent, but good speed from uh, Goog as well. Googs. I'll pop it around him first. And here, I'll back off because they could get a clear. As my teammate being close to the ball, I'll just stay in a good position. Kind of around right here. Kind of around here um, where I can wait to see what happens. I don't want to push any closer because... Any bad ball that bounces out could be spelling danger. So right here you can see the ball finally pops out. And now I can kind of challenge because they popped the ball away. Once again, just posturing right around this area. Now I can cut the wall and, and get the touch. Even though it's not the greatest touch, it, it puts it in a spot where it's pretty dangerous uh, for the opponents. So they have to make a good touch to be able to get out. Here I'm back. I don't even need to get that boost, honestly. I could just wait. Um, teammate didn't know I was there. It's fine. So there I knew that my teammate might... You know, be clueless of the fact that I'm there because at this level they might not look behind. At Super Sonic Legend, they'll know you're there, so they'll just leave it for you. Uh, they know the, kind of the uh, the you know optimal spacing. Right here, I just know I'm gonna beat him. Pop it near goal, see if Googs wants to take it. It's a decent try, try to uh, go for the boost in the corner instead. Don't really need the boost in the corner. Right here, I'm just gonna wait for it to go across. Once again, Googs just like kind of not you know respecting my positioning, as you can see. <laughs> So we got we got a ball chaser in our hands. That's okay though. Probably gonna take yeah take it over. That's fine. And what, what remember when we talked about this in gold? We're back in diamond, and you're seeing the same thing happen. Um, you really don't you really don't get any difference uh, in uh, like decision making up until like grand champion or super sonic legend. As I said, like your mechanics just get better, and you just see people who do the same dumb things uh, at an upper level. That's a, that's a free shot here. And we'll definitely take those because at Diamond, you should definitely be scoring those open nets. If you can't, um, <laughs> well, no comment. But that's a free goal for us. And uh, it was a pass off from one of the opponents off the backboard. They need to make sure they clue that to the corner instead. And that gives you more, more space to work with, more time. A lot of Rocket League is trying to buy time. Like right here, teammate didn't make a good touch. So now I need to buy time for him. So right here, this, this pop off middle gives us some space. Teammate really wants to take over. Try to get a bump on the other player. He didn't jump in time to make a good touch. Good 50-50. It was funny because Googs was trying to take over again there. It's a decent pop. You'd think he would trust me a little bit at least by now. Right here, I'm just waiting for the opponent to make a touch. And here I have a, I have possession. I'll make a simple flick towards net. It's going to be over. And then my teammate can probably finish it up. As I said, can probably finish it up. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> One of the greatest calls <laughs> in Rocket League history by me right there. Um, yeah, that was a great finish by my teammate. Once again, just a flick towards net, and uh, we get a goal. <laughs> So off this kickoff, I was able to get in a good position because I cheated up on the ball. What we call cheating up is basically you hold your boost around 40, 40 to 50, and you stay close to the ball. I like to sit in between these two pads most of the time, as you can see. I didn't even grab that middle pad, but that's okay. Like, see how I, I'm ready for any position that happens. And here I'm, I'm more focused on the ball. It's kind of a bad touch, though. I ended up not scoring. I'm going to pop this to my teammate. Um... Okay, decided not to follow up. That's okay, though. I'll move behind here. We got walkie soup. Good demo. And a bad touch from Sponge. I'm not going to say the rest of his name, obviously, but... Um, you can see, once again, we see that example of Googs hitting the ball off the backboard, and it immediately pops out for pressure for the opponents. In that situation, you want to be really, really careful. It is nice, though, that in this in these game in this gameplay, it's a little bit faster pace, and now we can start to get a little more, uh, you know, aggressive with our touches and not feel out of place on a lower rank. Good touch. Let's see if he wants to make another touch. That's okay. I'll go for this now. I won't go for target. Obviously, I could have just shot that on target. It's very free. Um, but we're up two goals, and it's a good play right here. I want to collect this. The best place to take it is the back corner because there's no one there. There's a full boost. Now I can stay with this ball. The more I wait with this ball, the more I'm taking time away. And here, if I do a late 50-50, which he doesn't even touch the ball, it works out. Now we're just trying to kill time. No need to pressure for goals. Like, this touch towards now is all right. Put some under decent pressure, and almost a goal here. Once again, don't need a goal here, so we're just going to sit behind. That's a common mistake I see in Diamond or even uh, upper levels uh, where it, uh, there's spots. That's a good shot. I'll let it in. Um... <coughs> A lot of times when you're up goals, you don't need to be playing the same way. You need to change up your game plan. Right there, I was trying to make a catch when my teammate bumped me off, which is fine. I definitely could have saved that, but that's a situation where the ball rolls out in a position where it's a good shot opportunity, and he makes the goal. So, four seconds left. What I want to do here is try to kill the ball to the left. That actually works out even better, because um, the opponent didn't get a good touch. And they have a chance towards goal. Let's see what happens. That's going to be down. The uh, the other other player wasn't close enough, and that's a pretty good game. It was 3-2 win. Um, you know, my teammate was a little bit all over the ball, but I let him take over because I don't want to be the player to, you know, have a mistake, like, rub in my face, basically, because I'm, like, trying to position in a good spot and my teammate isn't, so I just let him be over-aggressive and I'll be taking the backseat role. And there we go, the first game win. Uh, let's see what happens in the next game. We didn't even rank up or, uh, a promotion or div division here, so uh, let's see if we can get division to, uh, Diamond 2 by the time this episode ends. Oh, we got the guy from the other team, Walkie Soup. We, we got him on my team this time. So, we got CB, 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 and Dog. I see a lot of Dog names, like D A W G. Like, what's up, Dog? Seems to happen so much. I feel like we've seen that in the series already. It's a decent touch around, but it ends up giving the uh, opponent an early ball. Good touch in middle. I'll take that now. I mean, I could have definitely made a better shot if he didn't touch it again, because there was already space for me. But it's all right. Good positioning for my teammate. Oh, good try. I do have possession here. So let's make a touch. Good try. Teammate is trying to move way faster than he needs to. As you can see, he's like he's trying to position for every touch, but he's not fast enough to actually do it. So he's just like kind of, you know, panicking a little bit to get a touch. Teammate's on it first, so I'm going to wait behind. It's a decent touch. Now I have possession. See right here, I'm just trying to wait for one of them to posture for the ball. And there we go. So I think the opponent got a little bit faked out that I was going to bring up the wall, but the close, the, the faster direction to goal is in middle. So I let the ball roll a, around first and then just make the uh, the shot in mid. So right here, I'm going to try and get a solid 50-50 once again. I really never really know like what the pace of the kickoffs are going to be because you get a wide range. Uh, at Super Sonic Legend, you mostly get fast kickoffs, which are actually easier to counter, but... I'll take control here. Once again, I see the space. I, like, I see this big funnel of space that I have for touches and stuff. And there we go. A little bit too aggressive, I think. I'm being a little bit too fast for this rank. Um, these touches around like that are really good to uh, give me space to pull onto the ball. And then I just make a, a simple flick because the other opponent, uh, you know, dove in way too early. But I'll, I'll actually back off here. My teammate's going to go up. 
see what Dog does. Okay, it's fine. Teammate should rotate in first since I'm behind. Good touch. If this bounces up, it's pretty good for my teammate. It actually works out for us. We'll just pop it forward like this. See what happens. Dog will probably stay with this. Once again, see how I'm just posturing and making them touch it? Uh, they have to make an action because I'm near the ball. It's like a really good aerial from him. I mean, I, I definitely could have just beat him, but I wanted to make it, a, make it at a good pace. It actually works out really well for us. Solid 50-50. I'll just pop it up again. Hits down the curve. Good try on the goal. Right here, I can shoot it to the left. That puts it around one player and also gives us time. Obviously, I could have rushed this and beat him there too. But as you can see, the, the placing the ball in a specific spot, uh, making the right decisions to clear the ball in a spot where you get you get time for your team and make it harder for the opponents, it's all a balance. It's a bit of a miss there. I'll just stay with this, I guess. There we go. Or I can get the boost and stay with it in the corner. It's a good demo. It's a good dribble too. Let's see what happens. Trying to go for the bump or something. Probably a pretty advanced save. I mean, at diamond, maybe not. I'm not really sure. Because I haven't really played diamond too much lately, but I feel like that was like decent. It's going to be a shot around. Good little pinch. Once again, just posturing, making them do something. And that's a huge part. Like... You don't even need mechanics. You just need to make the right decisions, not to commit all the time. Right here, a pop off the backboard is really good. Could be a chance. My teammate's really, really far back. He should be like on one of those balls, but he wasn't. Now he's panicking. <laughs> even though I'm right there. Don't worry, man. I got you. Oh. Right here, I'm going to force a 50-50 into the ball at a point where it's going to roll to the back corner. i wait behind here. Like this touch could have been to me. It's fine if my teammate takes it. Once again, I'm in a position so far that... It's not even dangerous if I don't go. I'll go early. Good demo. Let's pop it forward. I'm not really giving the opponents too much time to like make shots and stuff. Which uh, it just has to do with the fact that I'm positioning a certain way. Like right here I know I'll beat him if I just pop it. And now let's see what Dog does. I'll let my teammate turn if he wants, which he does. Good pop around one player. It's a good start. Oh, good save. So my teammate's in the net right here. Gotta be a little careful with this challenge. I'll force the 50 without jumping fully. And then I'll back off here. So I'll loop really, really wide. So I can cover any any uh, situations in net. It's a good shot from Milwaukee. Nice try. Right here I can pressure. See what they do. Panicking a little bit. There we go. Just wait for my teammate to take, up, take, or, take over the ball. You can do so much more with your impact in the game if you don't commit a lot of the times. I know, and don't always just not commit. That's obviously not the case. You can see when I'm deciding to and when I'm not. It's like that great red light, green light thing that I also talked about in the earlier uh, episodes. If you want to go back and watch that, it has a traffic light in the thumbnail. Um, and I talk a little more in depth about what I mean by the red light, green light. We'll see what Walkie's got here. Oh, good try. So now I see that I've got possession and it's, it's for me, it's a two man advantage versus one because the opponent played the ball and missed. Popped it middle. So sometimes when you have the same situation, uh, that's a big thing as well. I notice is that two players have the exact same situation individually, but in one case, it's a one V two and the other way is a two V one. Um, so one player will have way more confidence to go for that ball. Like right here, um, the shadowing position. I'm last man. If it was me being first, I might have committed a little bit earlier to make the ball go off the player. But you have to make decisions based on a certain scenario. And this is why I find, uh, like, coaching, uh, just like asking general tips that I get on Twitch, for example, uh, it's hard to tell people exactly what they need to do in certain situations without having it in front of them at the exact point in time. Everything's situational in this game. We got Division 4. We got uh, Diamond 1, Division 4. We're almost in Diamond 2. Let's see if this last game gets us in there. It might not, but, you know, we're getting closer. Gimmick, is that you? Just kidding. We got Wizard Moss and Chimic versus uh, Samupti and myself. You know, the classic old Dairy Peak. <laughs> no one's commented on it yet, the name. Oh, what a great try there. So right here, once again, I'm last man. I'll just wait. Wait for the ball to come to me. I obviously could have jumped up earlier and beat that guy, but at this level, if you want to be a little more careful, you know, if you're not fully confident, it's a good chance. Good pressure. Pop it towards the net and see if they save it. Good save. Move behind. That's a good double from the opponents. I'll stay with this. Do I have space here? The opponent was waiting for uh, 
waiting for boost, and I can get enough time to uh, boost up to the ball to get that nice flick. And uh, that just takes time to get the, the timing down. See how the ball's in front of my car on the nose, and then as I boost, it pushes up to my nose? So I want to continue that, that motion with the final flick to get that height on the ball. I know it's like brushing over that pretty quickly, but um, you know, it just takes time to get used to the timing. I'll actually let my teammate to get a 50-50 or something. Oh, is that just in? Oh my goodness. The slowest outplay I've ever seen in Diamond. Look at that. Little tap and no boost. Boom. So Shimmick making a little bit of an awkward challenge. He probably could have made his car a little bit wider on the challenge to make it a lot easier to uh, to cover the ball and any angles. So good po uh, possession from my teammate here. Oh, good try. So like, I, like I said, we're getting into like more consistent players trying to go for dribbles and stuff. Right here, I'll pop it over Wizard. He's got Alpha Boost. Wait, no, no, it's no, he doesn't. He does. He has that like uh, that like reward for being before, <laughs> before uh, season whatever season one, I guess. <laughs> it sounds like like thirty Alpha Boost. Yeah, listen to it. Oh, good try on the double demo there. Right here, I see that Chimic's gonna start challenging. So I end up getting a 50-50 that actually works out for us. A little bit dangerous, but right here, you can go up for the backboard. I'll wait for the ball in the middle. I end up beating the player. A little bit dangerous though. If the players are better, they'll jump up earlier. So you gotta be a little bit careful and start to go for that backboard a little bit earlier. Right here, I see the ball's in a decent spot. Let my teammate go first. Just posturing once again. Pop it off backboard, see if Chimic gets it. Really early jump from some upty. Make sure that you know the, the ball is gonna be cleared. Uh, or not before you go for it. Right here, I can pop it off the sidewall first, and then it goes mid for me, and I can shoot it towards net. So right there, that's a classic thing you can do. Definitely is is pop it around the player that's challenging, especially when you're doing that like V formation challenge. Just pop it to the left or right, depending on which side you're on, and then I just get a, a shot towards goal. Let's see if we can get a solid 50/50 here. Get a good challenge. I just forced it. Whenever I'm doing kickoffs, I'm just watching the uh, the nameplates and trying to cancel it. Right here, this ball's going to land closer to my, the opponent first. So I want to make sure I I uh, go for the the shadow defense there instead. It's really because the ball's in a position where it's going towards uh, the player. It's the same situation I just had where I scored. I don't want to be in that situation where I try to challenge something that I can't. And then I end up just getting scored on for a silly challenge. Right here, I'll just force the ball around the corner. I'm going to boost up to this one and grab this corner. So that way, someone's going to be low. Looks like it's going to be Chimic because Wizard Moss has the other, belt, the other boost. <laughs> Sorry, teammate. I'll pop it around here. Chimic's pretty far away, so there's not really too much danger. Good 50 pitch for my teammate, too. My teammate ended up falling off the wall, which means it makes his recovery even longer. So i got to wait for him here. There we go. Just waiting for the ball to roll around to me. I have to defend. I make sure to boost a little bit to grab that boost so he doesn't get 300. All right here, I'll go around the net. So that way it's behind Chimic. He ends up turning the wrong way. Here, I'm gonna get behind my teammate. Let him challenge first. Good challenge. Ooh. Pop up the sidewall, see if Wizard wants it. He doesn't. He'll challenge now though. Pops across, that's all right. The three goals up. Teammate's uh, looking pretty good. I think he has a pretty good amount of boost. Yes, he does. Good challenge. Waiting for my teammate. I'm also trying to show in this series that, like, you know, when you complain about teammates, there's always something you could do different differently, too. Like, complaining about teammates is honestly kind of a meme in Rocket League. Uh, everyone does it, but there's always something you can do. Like, you single-handedly could carry any game uh, if you really if you really wanted to. Not really wanted to, but if you, uh, you know, really did the right thing. You could always throw, throw off the opponent's. There's the uh, the forfeit, so we get to finish out that game. And like I was saying, like there's always something better you could do. Obviously, there there are shortcomings of your teammates at times, but um, obviously in these ranks, I'm not really finding a problem with these games. Um, but I'm also just trying to balance, uh, not carrying at the same time, helping my teammate to, to a point where we win the game. So hope you guys enjoyed this 21st episode. I'm really loving this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Make sure to comment uh, what you guys want my name to be and the picture for next episode. Until next time, have a great day. We'll catch you guys in the next one.